हमारे करीब 50 से 55 जहाज जो हैं सी में होते हैं और करीब 12 से 15 जो है हवाई जहाज भी हैं जो उड़ते रहते हैं हर दिन तो आप समझिए कि हम जो है पूरा जो एरिया है अपना देश का जो ई जेड है उसको हम कवर करते हैं और एट एनी गिवन टाइम जो हमारा रिस्पॉन्स टाइम है वो घंट कपल ऑफ आवर्स है अगर कहीं भी कहीं इंसिडेंट होता है चाहे सिक्योरिटी हो चाहे सेफ्टी एस्पेक्ट हो कोस्ट गार्ड का जहाज या हवाई जहाज जो है जो है विद इन नो टाइम वहाँ पहुँच जाता है नाउ वेन वी हैव टू लुक आफ्टर द सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू आउट एट सी यू नो दैट इट्स इन हरफिल टास्क वी हैव गॉट मोर देन थ्री लैख फिशिंग बोट्स थ्री लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड फिशिंग बोट्स विच आर रजिस्टर्ड इन दिस कंट्री एंड वेर आर द साइकोस आर वी मेक श्योर दैट वी थ्रू अवर कम्युनिटी इंट्रैक्शन प्रोग्राम and our efforts uh, with all the state uh, uh, agencies who are involved all the uh, agencies who are involved we have regularly meeting with them and we ensure that what should be our standard of procedure when these kind of cyclones and uh, uh, you know natural calamities come as far as safety and security is concerned i already told you that we are one of the largest coast guards in the world we are augmenting our uh, assets in terms of uh, ships and aircrafts and very soon by 2025 we should be having close to 200 ships and about 100 aircraft the distress alert transmitter then we have got uh, coastal security network also phase 2 which is coming right now we have uh, phase 1 uh, coastal security network has been completed phase 2 is under implementation so that is actually uh, uh, your it's, it's also game changer where wherever the ships cannot reach the 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 chain of static sensors are going to take care of all those you know, issues so we are actually quite uh, uh, equipped well equipped in terms of manpower and in terms of assets also and we are ready to face any challenges out at sea and that of course has to be a synergized and a coordinated efforts with all the agencies and the organizations who are involved in that. national maritime search and rescue board meeting this is the 21st meeting and this is an annual feature the last meeting was held in uh, november 22 and this time we decided to have it uh, in kolkata and we are very happy to be part of uh, uh, having this namsar board meeting here in kolkata during the festive occasion of durga puja I must tell you that uh, uh, this Namsa Board meeting, the 21st Namsa Board meeting, it has the largest ever participation by all the agencies and the organizations who are a part of the Namsa Board. There are about 31 organizations and central and state agencies who have gathered here for discussing various issues, challenges regarding the search and rescue uh, for our maritime uh, fisher folks and the seafarers out at sea. so this was a gist and this is how we are here at calcutta coast guard is in the process of inducting six uh, c295 aircrafts at what stage of the procurement it is at secondly how are these aircrafts going to add more operational capability further strengthen the operational capability to coast guard well i want to uh, tell you that uh, presently we have about 78 uh, 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 a mix uh, Uh, air assets uh, which includes 39 uh, helicopters and 39 fixed wing aircrafts which are majority the dornier dornier aircrafts which have proved a very uh, which they have proved very human service for the coast guard now we were feeling uh, for long uh, you know we were uh, uh, feeling a requirement of having a long range maritime surveillance aircraft that is triple ma in short the c295 we call it as a triple ma now it will have a larger endurance since our ez is quite big our search and rescue region is also quite big so a, lo- a-, a need was felt for long that we should have uh, a dornier a fixed wing aircraft which can actually cover more area once it is airborne so this c295 has been going on uh, for pretty long time uh, earlier the proposal was uh, uh, with the air force and finally the navy and the coast guard are likely to uh, buy 9 and 6 the navy is going to take 9 c295 uh, And the Coast Guard is going to get six C295. The proposal is more or less at the final stage, and most uh, probably in a month or so, it will be fielded in the Defence Procurement Board uh, in the Ministry of Defence. Uh, I just want to tell you one thing that you know, if in the past uh, couple of years, if you must have seen some of the cyclones, uh, severe cyclones which have hit this country, I'm sure you must have realised that uh, out at sea, there has been practically nil loss of life. I was in the region northwest. when that cyclone tapte it come this before jai cyclone and i want to assure you and i want to tell you that the coast guard and all the agencies are actually very well equipped to meet all these challenges there has been practically zero 
loss of lives, property at sea. Now, post cyclone, then what we do is we coordinate with all agencies, including the disaster management authority, the state uh, disaster management authority, the fishing uh, community, and all other agencies who are involved in in uh, in the efforts to uh, do the rescues post cyclone. So, as far as uh, the capability of the Coast Guard is concerned, I want to tell you that uh, we have based four helicopters uh, at Advanced Light Helicopter Mark 3 at Bhubaneswar. We are aware that uh, this is a cyclone prone area, in, including now October and November are also uh, uh, quite prone to cyclones. So, as an effort uh, and to augment our capability, especially in West Bengal and Orissa, we have uh, based four helicopters uh, at, uh, at Bhubaneswar. I have based, uh, I'm sorry, we have got about uh, four hovercrafts here at Haldia. We have based uh, two, uh, three uh, fast patrol vessel interceptor boats, and we are in the process of augmenting our technical infrastructure so that in near future also we can base some of the assets which are actually uh, uh, quite suitable uh, to operate in this kind of terrain. When I say this kind of terrain, you are aware that Sundarban is also one of the area where we actually want to go, and the only uh, surface asset which can go to Sundarbani is the whole craft. So, we have got a forward operating base at Fraser Ganj. In fact, I will be visiting Fraser Ganj after I complete this and I am going to take a stock of the situation that what all activities and what uh, uh, efforts we need to uh, reinforce uh, at Fraser Ganj. So, I want to assure you all that the Coast Guard and the other agencies are well equipped. We are in the process of augmenting our force level also and in, in coming uh, uh, years, I think by 2025, the Coast Guard should be having surface assets to the tune of 190 to 200 ships and close to about 100 aircrafts by 2025. It is a collective effort of all the agencies and I want to tell you that out at sea, uh, we recently awarded uh, some of, uh, well at some of uh, the marinas. Uh, we also involve ships which are in transit, which nowhere are well, uh, concerned with our, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, although our assets were not there, but the ships out at sea, they are mandated and they are obligatory to provide necessary search and rescue to mariners who are in distress out at sea. Now, when we talk about uh, the search and rescue efforts and uh, giving, uh, uh, you know, Philip uh, uh, to, to uh, the search and rescue efforts, it is even the fishermen who are out at sea they are also actually providing uh, the, the search and rescue efforts to the fishing boats which are at sea and at times we have seen that before the Coast Guard reach, it is even the local fishermen and the local fishing boats who are actually also involved in uh, the humanitarian cause of search and rescue. And uh, I want to say that we are coordinating and uh, uh, synergizing with all the agencies when it comes to the search and rescue uh, efforts of the Coast Guard. Uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, uh, ISRO is helping us, they are uh, launching uh, a satellite, a MIOSAR satellite, wherein uh, once the satellite is launched, you will have every second, maybe a couple of seconds, you are going to have the real time, uh, you know, uh, positions of all vessels out at sea, including the vessels which are in distress. Now, vessels which are in distress, they are being equipped with distress alert transmitters which is being developed by uh, ISRO. Uh, this is a phase two, uh, this, is, uh, this is an advanced version of the, uh, digital alert transmitter, which has already been given as a pilot project. Now, once this DAT comes, uh, DAT is the abbreviated form of digital alert transmitter. Once it comes, I want to uh, assure all of you that every fishing boat will be accounted for, their positions will be known, and when the cyclones are there, you can give early warning to the fisher folks out at sea and we will be accounting for each and every uh, fishing uh, assets out at sea. Coast Guard has signed nine memorandum of understandings with our uh, neighboring countries which also includes Japan, Korea, Philippines, uh, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan, uh, then uh, uh, in Middle East uh, we have signed with one. Indonesia will be signing, the next we are going to sign with Malaysia and so on. So, I want to tell you that we have got very good synergized operation and cooperation with all these kind of countries. When it comes to the search and rescue efforts, our search and rescue efforts spreads up to 4.6 million 
square kilometer. Now, it is also crossing towards Seychelles also. So, that is a kind of uh, coverage factor uh, what we are looking at and when it comes to uh, the synergized operations uh, on the maritime security aspect or the maritime search and rescue or maritime pollution also. We are all united and we have got memorandum of, of understanding which we have signed with all these countries where the best practices uh, of all the Coast Guard will be shared, will be discussed and we have uh, an institutionalized uh, uh, meeting with them uh, as part of high level delegation. They are known as HLM, high level meeting uh, as part of the MOUs that we all uh, uh, meet at various uh, forums and we discuss the way out so that the challenges out at sea are, uh, are addressed appropriately and at the best possible way. We have as of now got about 157 surface platforms which ranges from fast uh, uh, petrol boats to advanced offshore petrol vessels. We have also got specialized pollution response vessels. Now, they are actually uh, most suitable for uh, doing the pollution response uh, uh, functions out at sea. Two more are being constructed at Goa shipyard. Now, as far as augmentation of, of our assets are concerned, very shortly we will be signing contract for about, uh, about 20 to 25 ships. We are likely to uh, acquire nine more advanced light helicopters, eight, uh, eight more Donius and so on. So, I want to assure you that we are keeping pace with our, our operational requirement and the Government of India and Ministry of Defence is fully focused upon strengthening the Coast Guard in terms of manpower as well as assets. Uh, what the data I have got is that there are only three incidents which have been reported in the last two years. I am sorry, uh, that uh, I will again verify. But, uh, uh, but I want to tell you one thing that it is not that uh, we, we are not looking towards this aspect. The security is a big uh, challenge and it, it is an ongoing process. So, let me assure you one thing with the augmentation of our assets, the coastal security part also, if there are gaps and it is known, then all these issues will be addressed by all the agencies who are involved uh, on, on, on this. Uh, yeah, let me go to तो जैसे मैंने अभी आपको बताया कि जो हमारे ऑपरेशन सेंटर्स हैं ऑलरेडी हमारे पास में मैरिटाइम रिस्क्यू कोऑर्डिनेशन सेंटर्स हैं आठ मैरिटाइम रिस्क्यू सब सेंटर्स हैं और रक्षा मंत्रालय ने 28 और मैरिटाइम रिस्क्यू सब सेंटर्स का हमारे को अप्रूवल दिया है इन मैरिटाइम रिस्क्यू सब सेंटर्स एमआरसीसीज वगैरह में हम लोग जो है बहुत ही मॉडर्न इक्विपमेंट रख रहे हैं जिसको हम जीएमडीएसएस इक्विपमेंट बोलते हैं और हम लोग जो है अपने जो ये जो सेंटर्स हैं ये हम लोग इसरो इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और आपके जो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज हैं ये कई सारे हम लोग प्रोजेक्ट्स वो लोग लॉन्च कर रहे हैं और ये सब जो है हम लोग इंटीग्रेट करेंगे हमारे एमआरसीसी और एमआरसीस के साथ में सो so, मैं ये बताना चाहता हूं कि जो सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू का जो तंत्र है जिसके लिए हम आज यहां इकट्ठे इकट्ठे हुए हैं एकत्रित एकत्रित हुए हैं ये सब हम लोग यहां पे जो है डिस्कस करने वाले हैं और मैं आपको ये आश्वासन देना चाहता हूं कि सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू का जो तंत्र है हमारे इस देश में बहुत अच्छा है हम लोग इसको और इंप्रोवाइज कर रहे हैं टेक्निकली और आपका जहां भी ह्यूमन इंटरफेस है उन सबको हम जो है बहुत महत्व देते हैं I am not aware of the security plan, but let me tell you one thing. As part of Colombo Security Conclave, uh, India, Maldives, Sri Lanka, and uh, to observe countries, this mechanism is going on very good. And let me assure you that even in December, we are likely to have uh, uh, a congregation of the Coast Guards, and we are going to have uh, uh, exercise over there, uh, which is termed as Dosti. Now, uh, it is known as the Colombo Security Conclave. And I don't think, uh, think that uh, we foresee any issues. We already have a Coast Guard helicopter which is operating uh, at Ghan in Maldives and they are still operating and I am sure that uh, when it comes out to uh, the, the, the sea side, uh, no country uh, will definitely go uh, look on the other side. It has to be a collaborated and a very synergized efforts uh, by the Coast Guards in and around uh,
in the region. Media, international media reports suggested that the government is... Well, I am not too sure about the international media, but let me assure you that, uh, that we have got very good relations and we will continue to have good relations with Maldives in terms of uh, maritime search and rescue and all our efforts out at uh, sea. We have three specialized uh, pollution uh, response vessels uh, which we have got and two are two more are under construction at uh, Goa Shipyard uh, uh, Limited. I want to tell you one thing that recently the G20 summit uh, which ended, uh, two challenges were picked up. One challenge of the uh, from the Indian side and one from the US side. And the US picked up the Coast Guard challenge for uh, oil spill detection and integration with sensors and satellite. So this is a challenge which has been posed and I am sure that uh, uh, in coming uh, days or, year or, or months or years, we will definitely be going high tech when it comes to uh, detection of oil spill and, uh, uh, and how to tackle uh, these kind of oil spills. But and let me assure you that uh, we are also buying a lot of pollution response equipment to, uh, to augment our uh, pollution response centers which are based all across the coastal states and uh, uh, we are synergizing with all the stakeholders. Uh, recently, uh, two, two, two months back, we had a meeting at the Offshore Security Coordination Committee at, uh, at Ahmedabad. A couple of these issues were also discussed and let me assure you that the Coast Guard is fully equipped, uh, including all the resource, resource agency, agencies and all the ports are also actually fully equipped to tackle the oil spill uh, incidents out at sea and to respond adequately. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, it's getting late. Thank you. Thank you.